Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to copy a DVD disc over to a USB thumb drive, and then use that thumb drive to watch the DVD and have access to all the menus on the DVD. Now, you might need to do this if you have a netbook computer and you don't have a DVD drive in the computer, and you want to be able to watch DVDs on that netbook computer. It's easy to do, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is look at the drives on your computer. And this is what it looks like on my computer. I have three hard drives, and over here I have a DVD drive that has a DVD in it. I have a Blu-ray drive here, and then here I have a USB thumb drive. What I want to do is copy all the video and all the menus from my DVD drive over to my USB thumb drive, and I want to be able to play that in my netbook computer. So the way we do that is we right-click on the DVD, we choose Open, and that allows us to view the files on the DVD. Almost every standard DVD is going to have these two folders on it, audio underscore TS and video underscore TS. And what you want to do is you want to copy those. To do that, you just select them, right click, and choose copy. Then back on your computer, you want to look at your USB thumb drive. Now typically, a single-sided DVD is going to take about 4.7 gigabytes of storage. Now if you have a commercial DVD, you could have up to 9 gigabytes or even 13 gigabytes. So you want to make sure that your thumb drive has enough space. If it's a single-sided DVD, you probably need a 6 gigabyte drive. If it's a double-sided DVD, you might need a 12 or 16 gigabyte thumb drive. Whatever the case, make sure you have enough. And then open your thumb drive, and then copy the two files over. Now, I've already copied the two files over, and you can see what they look like here. Now, if you were to take this thumb drive and remove it from your computer and slide it into the USB port on any other computer, nothing is going to happen. It's not going to start up like a DVD, and it's not going to play like a DVD. In order to do that, you have to have some special software. And the software I found to work is the VLC Media Player from Videolon. Now, this is free software. There's no charge for it at all, although you can donate if you think it's worthwhile. And when you get here, you, you can download it directly to your computer. The good news is they have versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so you almost can always find something that will work for your computer no matter what the operating system is. Once you've downloaded it, you'll want to install it. And when you run it, it's going to look like this, just a black screen. Once you do have it on your computer, you can use it to play real DVD discs. In fact, it'll play video files of almost any format. It's a really a great player, but if you want to play from that thumb drive, what you have to do is you click Media, you choose Open Folder, and from your computer drive selection, choose that thumb drive that we copied those files to, and on the thumb drive, choose the Video underscore TS folder, and click Select Folder. And when you do, the thumb drive will start playing the DVD just as if it were a DVD in the DVD drive. And not only will it play it, you'll be able to access all the menus. So as I move my mouse around, you can see that it lights up the menus like it's supposed to. And if I were to click one of these, it'll jump to that part of the video and play. And I can always go back to the menu at any time by clicking the menu button. So now that it's copied over to a thumb drive, it works exactly like the DVD would. So you can move around to menus, you can go back to different menus, you can press pause to stop it, press play to restart wherever you were. In addition to the normal features, you also have features like the ability to speed up the playback or slow down the playback, or to go to full screen mode, or to change the on-screen display. All these are under Tools and Preferences, or under View. So the software that we use to do this is the VLC Media Player, and it's free. You can find it by going to videoland.org. Again, this is the VLC Media Player. It is a great piece of software. If you use it like I do, it's definitely worth donating a few bucks to because the people who have worked on this have created a great product. Anyway, I'm Bill Myers. I thought you might be interested in this. You can find more tips like this at my website, www.bmyers.com.